Hey, what is up you guys? Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Josh and I'm a makeup artist from New York. I have a brand new video for you guys today. I have been getting bunch of bunch I've been getting a bunch of requests that I should do a my skincare routine video because everyone's favorite comment is <laughs> your skin is so clear. So that's what I'm doing for you guys today. Today we are gonna be talking about all the different skin products I use for my routine, all the different primers I use, because to me that also counts as skincare, and also a bunch of things I use kind of when I need them and not as much as my daily skin routine. Things I use throughout the week to help my skin but aren't daily. But I'm gonna spill the tea on all the best products that you guys should pick up and definitely a bunch of products that I could recommend for people who are not like my skin because of course everyone's skin is different some people have dry skin some people have oily skin and some people have combination skin and because of those different factors of course we all need different products of course I have dry skin if this is your first time on my channel here I do have dry skin so I do tend to pack it with as much moisture as I possibly can but however, if you guys want to know what I do for my skincare routine and how I make my face look like this every single day, make sure to keep on watching. By the way, how are you guys liking the new intro and outro? Leave a comment down below. What do you guys think? I love it. I'm in love. And if you guys haven't, make sure you guys go check out my channel because the banner is freaking awesome as well. Anyways, let's get right into it. <laughs> so, first, of course, personally, I take showers in the morning. For me, my day doesn't start until I take a shower. Because as soon as I take a shower, for me, that's washing my face already because I do take some water. And I have curly hair, so I'm already very conscious of the heat of the water while I'm showering. So make sure that the freaking water is not blazing hot when you decide to wash your face because very, very hot water will just kill all the natural cells that are living on your face that are doing good things and it will strip you of all your oils and bacteria and the good and the bad, which is not great. It's like 50-50. <laughs> So I would definitely recommend lukewarm water and if you want to hug up those pores some nice cold water to finish it off So of course, I always start off with washing my face next this <laughs> we're getting controversial already <laughs> So I guess you can say is controversial because some people don't like the brand, but this is just personally me Anyways, let's get into it. All right, so first I have of course the cult favorite Mario Badescu I always say Badescu because I think it sounds better, but it's Mario Badescu. <laughs> Facial spray with aloe herbs and water. This is 8 fluid ounces and I believe this retails for about $16. The main ingredients are aqua pripylene glycol, aloe vera bandus leaf juice, and rosa canine extract. And then the one that's controversial is the fragrance at the end or how some people say fragrance. <laughs> so personally for me, um, I know a lot of people who have sensitive skin, they get very against fragrance because they don't want it anywhere near their skin. I'm a lot similar for a lot of products, but having a few products here and there that have fragrance aren't a big deal breaker for me. You know, like if one or two things here have fragrance, that's not too bad for me. You know what I mean? Anyways, after I go in with that, oh wait, I'm supposed to do it, right? Because I'm supposed to do my skincare. <laughs> All right, so let's do that. I don't put too much, I just put a good spritz and then I rub it into my skin. That's the key, I think, that some people just think like, you know, since it's a spray, let me just spray this on my face and then, yeah, I'm good. So definitely work that into your skin, of course. And personally, since you obviously are going to know I'm already extra as fuck and I have extra products, make sure that when you guys use a product, for example this one, you see how I'm still rubbing it into my skin? You really want to work the product into your skin because once you lay these types of products on your face, it's not gonna work itself in. It's not just gonna like sit on your face and be like, oh, thank you. You have to work, massage it into your skin. This freaking hair is making an appearance again. But you make sure to massage the product into your skin. That's what's very important. So once I've set the spray on my face, that's my first step. I go in with my Elmis Superfood Sika Calm Hydration Juice. This is packed with fruit waters and antioxidant rich Sica, which helps to visibly calm skin. I freaking love this. It's a gel and it calms my skin right after, you know, I've just been massaging and it's really that calming, soothing hydro gel that you really need to get your morning start and just have that like dewy glowy look that you were just like 
blessed by the Dewey Gods. <laughs> and this thing feels and smells amazing. There's no fragrance, but like it just smells really good naturally. It's like a really like goopy texture, but it's kind of like greeny. So I just put this on the side of either of my nose. Usually I apply the products the same way. On the side of my nose, on my nose, on my chin, on the sides of my jawline, and then on my, oh wait, and then on my forehead <laughs> with my long hair. And then again, we're working this product into the skin and especially gels take a little bit more to work into the skin. So definitely take your time. And to me, this is my time to massage my skin. I take every single day to massage my skin by putting these products into my skin the way I am right now. Some people use like the little jade um, things, the rollers. You can use that too. I'm a cheaper person. <laughs> my fingers are free. <laughs> they do the same amount of work. But... If you want it to be cold, put your fingers in the freezer. <laughs> it helps. <laughs> but I've heard you could use a stone, like a nice clean stone, put it in the freezer, put it on right here. But I don't really do that. I'm going to go into more products for, for like deep puffing. Don't worry. So you see how I'm just working this in? I'm really letting my skin like just take it all in and just like love this product for a second. Because a lot of people, what they do is... They'll go in with like something like this and then they'll be like, okay, lotion. And they don't even give their skin the chance to absorb the product, which really sucks. So now that I've moisturized it, as you can hear, my skin is very tacky now, which is perfect for it to take the next products. Next, I like to go into another controversial product. This is the Murad Hydration Hydrodynamic Ultimate Moisture for Eyes. This came in my boxy charm. Before this, I had only tried a eye cream before that, and it was a Bobbi Brown one, and it was a sample because it's like 80 bucks. <laughs> this is $77, uh, which is nice to come in my FC. I don't know if I'm gonna buy it again, but I have really been liking it. And eye cream isn't something like you super need, but I'm not gonna lie, it does help because eye creams tend to be a lot sensitive for the eye area as it is very, very, very fragile. I take my ring finger, which is the finger you're supposed to use to blend in an eye cream, and I literally take the smallest amount, like even that's a lot. Literally, that's enough. Like you s use such a little amount, which is amazing because it is small, but it goes like such a long way. You know what I'm saying? So I just put one dollop under each eye. And then, I, and then I use my ring fingers to, you know, blend it in, blend it in, massage it in. And like I said, just like all the other products, you really want to take the time to let it Go into your eyes and be very gentle when you blend it into your eyes. So some people even tap when you're of older age. If you're already seeing a lot of fine lines there, you honestly, I'm pretty, I'm going in pretty hard because you know I'm young. <laughs> but like, if you already have them, you should be going in softer than me, honestly. Um, it Cosmetics has a really, really good under eye cream as well. Pricey, but most of them are. Next, we have my best friend in the whole world. Cetaphil moisturizing body and face lotion all skin types lightweight 24-hour hydration contains six moisturizers plus vitamin E and B5 dermatologist recommended guys I go through this like water take a little squirt put some on my arms you already know because I am dark we cannot be ashy we do not let that happen <laughs> then we take a nice dollop and put that all over my face and this to me this is really my last barrier for my skincare that it's like, okay, I'm ready to go out. Once I massage this, my skin has been hydrated with like four different things. And already, I'm, you could tell I'm looking like super glowy, you know, obviously. And, and that's really what, that's how I take care of my skin. Because like I said, some people have dry skin, some people have combination skin, some people have oily skin. If you have oily skin, what I highly recommend going in for is something to control those oil zones especially something maybe like a poreless primer or even just like something to lock it in a lot of people will put setting powder over their face just to kind of control that oil i know carrying blotting paper helps a lot but when you have very oily skin you don't want to use oil or thick based products because they will create more oily texture so you want to use very lightweight products that will be friendly with your skin and then there's some people who have like sensitive skin which is even more difficult because they have to be very careful of what they put on their skin or it's just gonna flare up get red or like be too intense 
so it's really depending on you but i definitely could recommend some products if you guys want to comment down below like i have this and this and this could you recommend a few products for me i have no problem doing that for you guys i don't know bored anyways so now that we've gone into the things i use pretty much every day i'm gonna go into the products that i use as i need them so first i'm gonna go into jojoba oil so jojoba oil is a non-comedogenic oil which means that it does not clog your pores and it's very 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 moisturizing so it just looks like this so i use this for a few secret projects that i'm working on <laughs> so i just have it kind of in a wholesale bottle but guys this thing is so cheap if you could find some online from some nice whole resellers make sure it's organic and this helps with so much this doesn't help with acne with super dry areas like maybe if you have super dry areas a lot of people get super dryness around their nose and around their lips and under their eye or even for guys for your facial hair area this will do wonders this will not only condition your facial hair but will also condition the skin around your facial hair which tends to be very very dry for many guys a lot of guys I will tell you this they will reach for some stupid beard oil from Amazon or Target and that shit's like $45 and it's just and it's just jojoba seed oil repackaged into a little dropper for four times the price when you could get this stuff online for like 10 bucks so I would definitely recommend picking this up next I have this Avant Shea Butter Rice Bran Pantheo Poly De Decent Age Radiance this is an eight hour radiance renewal sleeping mask again I have very dry skin so this is freaking amazing when you go to bed you just slather this on it's the thickest cream I think I've ever used and it's almost like your it's almost like gloss for your face honestly like you feel like so moisturized locked in and just it soaking into your skin as you're like about to go to bed feels amazing when you wake up with this stuff on your face you wake up with the softest freaking skin so i'll tend to use this i mean you could use this every single night if you really wanted to the formula tends to be again pretty non-comedogenic however i tend to use it maybe max three times a week when maybe when i do a makeup video and because after which i'm going to show you guys how to take off my makeup it's a very um aggressive process and irritating process so something like this is a very very nice and soothing and moisturizing for my skin also the calm juice is very nice after you've just taken off all your makeup and done you know your cleanser and your toner and all these very irritating steps this will calm your face down and it's class <laughs> Next, we have my new favorite from the Boxy Charm. Everything's Boxy Charm. That's funny. Next, we have the pharmacy. Wait. We have the pharmacy honey potion. You guys remember when this came in my Boxy Charm? This thing is exactly what I thought it'd be. Amazing. Basically, the little spatula on top, and then I'll show you guys how much I've used. I haven't I haven't used too much, but like a little goes a long way. Basically, you take some with your spatula and then put it on your face and then you work it in all over your face, your nose, your lips, everywhere. And it turns into a foam. It emulsifies into like a foam texture, the honey. It's weird. Not a foam, like a white cream almost. And then it starts to get warm, like it warms up your whole face and it gets so warm like if you have a heating pad on your face and it's so freaking soothing and guys if you have dry skin you should not ever be doing exfoliants i'm sorry but exfoliants for your face are just not good especially if you're doing it multiple times a week like you're exfoliating twice a week especially with something like saint ives that is terrible Besides the fact that Saint Ives is terrible itself in a brand, if you guys want me to do a video on why you should not use Saint Ives, you guys could leave a comment down below. But if you have dry skin, please, please, please do not exfoliate at all. You really should not be exfoliating. Again, back to the fact that it's just killing all the good oils and bacteria that's on your face and it's really difficult for dry skin to recuperate that. You really wanna keep it going, almost like a momentum. You really wanna keep those good oils on your face because that's what keeps your skin moisturized. And then we also have the Levito Grapefruit Seed Melissa and Avocado Age Away Replenishing Cream. Again, I don't use this as often as everything else. Sorry, I keep things in boxes. 
but this is a very very nice cream i've been using it about i would say once to twice a week because it's still a little new nothing uh just jumps into my thing like that unless it's insanely good like this freaking honey <laughs> so i i like give it a few tries before i just throw it in there so it's still being tested out but i do like it it doesn't have any fragrance or anything like that it absorbs into the skin beautifully and honestly i think it would work for combination dry and oily because it's not too thick and it really absorbs into the skin really quick and that's another note i've given in general on my channel if you're putting your moisturizer anywhere on your face and you rub it in and it's just gliding either the moisturizer is not a good formula or you're just using the wrong type of cream for your type of skin when if you go back to when I put my lotion in or anything in, my skin just basically eats it up because my skin is looking for that moisture. It is waiting for that moisture. And that's good, you know? So, I think the one everyone wants to know, the makeup. <laughs> it's not easy. So, this is where it gets a little controversial again. I go back to Mario. I just like their brand. I know not a lot of people love it, but I it works for me. You know, it really does. I use the glycolic foaming cleanser so when I do a makeup look I will take it off with wipes as much as I can and then I will go in with this to wash everything away and get rid of everything I have been trying out and then I also use the alpha grapefruit cleansing lotion right after that those are my two steps then every two like every two weeks sometimes I'll do this whitening mask from Mario Badescu as well it gets on your face and it just starts drying everywhere, but it's really, really, really soothing after. And it's not actually like whitening, it's not gonna make you white, but it balances and evens your skin tone, which is really, really nice. Especially for people my skin tone, we really have a lot of hyperpigmentation most of the time. And also it comes with a vitamin C serum. I will always recommend any type of serum for your face. If you have not included a serum in your skincare, I highly recommend it. Vitamin C is a great serum to start with as well. It's always like one of those beginner serums. You just put two drops on your face and work it in. But that's pretty much it for the makeup. I'll use the I'll use the foaming cleanser and then I will use the cleansing lotion right after. And then I usually use some vitamin C serum to finish off my face and start building back up those oils and helping my skin build that barrier again and then start going in with those products like I said the Mario Badescu the grape uh the superfood you know the Cetaphil the eye cream. and last but certainly not least something I consider skincare as well I do have the Milka's Medic stick which you guys just probably know from one of my first videos this guy is definitely very nice when you have to depuff or you just need some soothingness somewhere one time I had a bad itch over here and I just slapped this boy on and the soothingness of the cooling effect is just amazing. And like I said, just to depuff in the morning, really, really nice too. And the formula is non comedogenic. It's very, very nice. A little pricey, definitely, but nice. Also, of course, we have the NYX Cosmetics Honey Do Me Up Primer. Any primer to me is also skincare because what do we say again? Just like Nikki says, not to prime is what? Not to prime is a crime. So we have to prime. Honey Do Me Up will do you the fuck up. <laughs> it will get your skin very, very moisturized. As well as the Bobbi Brown Enriched Vitamin Face Base. This is packed with vitamin D and it's an all-in-one primer and moisturizer. It does have a little bit of fragrance, I believe. Again, which some people find controversial. I don't mind. But this one's very, very nice. This is a little bit expensive. A few of the products I have here tend to be on the little pricier sides but i do have a good amount of products that are also very budget friendly if you guys want me to recommend any alternatives for any products or anything specifically for you or honestly even if you want you could like dm me on instagram or something like that i have no problem whatsoever like helping you guys choose some new products to include and bring in to your skincare routine but yeah that's pretty much it i just do like 22 steps to get to look like this <laughs> and you can do it too <laughs> now nah, i'm joking but i enjoyed making this video more than i thought i would like a lot of people were requesting i was like skincare that's so boring but like i just fucking talked for way too long <laughs> i was like this video is gonna be 10 minutes long <laughs> here i am 22 minutes later <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys check out Dika the Podcast. My podcast is a brand new episode every single week. We are also coming out with merch. Dika the Merch. The website is DikaMerch.com and you can sign up right now for 20% off when we launch. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.